Well, here I go again. Uh, I have a client that wants uh, two of these oxbow chests here. There we go. They're made by uh, John Chipman of Salem. And there's two of them in the uh, State Department uh, reception rooms in Washington, uh, D.C. So I've got these photos from there. And uh, I've done, uh, made some PDFs of those and blown them up to full size, which you see here. And then I've made some drawings here of my own of uh, parts that I don't have. So I hope to visit uh, Washington, D.C. And, uh, and see the actual pieces here in the next uh, couple of weeks. So the first thing that I did after uh, making the drawings was um, make uh, some templates. Uh, I have my usual uh, story stick here which has the drawer layouts on them and uh, the drawer dividers. There is uh, uh, oxbow since it's uh, uh, serpentine so it has two outward and one inward. This is the uh, piece of a uh, large piece of molding that goes on the bottom uh, with the dovetail in it which is typical of the Salem and Boston pieces. And um, this is a, a drawer front uh, template. So uh, the, the first thing we're going to do is uh, make the bottoms. So the first thing I did is mill up some uh, eastern white pine and it's uh, this is the bottom uh, cut the size and it's uh, going to be about 21 inches uh, and a quarter inches wide so the front molding which completes the bottom uh, goes on here like so so we've got to cut our dovetail in there and I made a sample of the uh, piece since it uh, would be a waste to do it uh, with mahogany. So it goes about like this. And you can see I've, I've cut the, the molding profile on the front of it. Now this sets it down into the, the uh, bottom, but the bottom sits up here. So you've got uh, three quarters of an inch along the bottom here. Uh, that matches has to match the side molding and so forth. So it's it's uh, the base for which the uh, legs are attached to. So uh, I've pretty much practiced that, and uh, we'll get on with the mahogany. So I've gone to Erian and purchased some uh, figured uh, mahogany. Here is a bunch of uh, eight quarter. And I've hand planed uh, off one uh, of the surfaces so that I could see the grain and select uh, which pieces that I wanted to use for the sides, the drawer fronts, etc., etc. So uh, I've cut off uh, a couple of pieces uh, to make the sides, which would be the first thing after making the bottom. So uh, that's the next step is to resaw the uh, mahogany, eight quarter mahogany, into two pieces so that I can book match the sides. Well I've uh, resawed a piece of a uh, couple of pieces of eight quarter here and uh, what I did is I hand planed one side flat and ran it through the uh, planer to get the other side flat and then uh, resawed it on the uh, large bandsaw. So I plan on book matching uh, the two pieces uh, to make one side. Uh, obviously there's a little extra uh, all the way around and uh, I've got the other one uh, as you can see over there. So uh, each of these uh, represent, well this is two sides to, for one of the cases and, and I've got another set for the other uh, cabinet. So here I've resawed some of the uh, eight quarter into two pieces and book matched them and uh, glued them together here. So this is this is the good side uh, that are book matched. So there be they will be 13 sixteenths of an inch thick the sides. 
and there's another one over there so I've got four all together since I'm making two chests well I started the molding this morning and I forgot to film it as I was going along so this is a little catch-up so what I did was I had a piece of uh, mahogany that I cut two pieces uh, four and three quarters inch by um, an inch and five eighths thick Put the template on here and uh, drew the lines. Then I uh, bandsawed off the the fronts and then cleaned it up with a spoke shave. And then um, I used uh, a router bit, uh, which is uh, a Roman OG, to uh, cut the uh, pattern on here. So we've got the pattern on, and so now we got to put the dovetail on. So there's um, a couple of the lines here that are matched the template on the back side here and we want those uh, real uh, straight uh, so that this is going to butt up against the bottom of the uh, chest and of course then we have the dovetail which uh, fits in here so uh, we're going to carefully uh, cut those out I'm going to use a table saw and stop cut it uh, just prior to going into the uh, dovetail and then I'll finish it up with a handsaw. <laughs> Cutting out the uh, dovetail portion of the uh, uh, main uh, molding. Cutting out the uh, big dovetail here. Well, I've got the big dovetail on here now, uh, cut into the bottom, and it's fitting pretty good. So, only thing I've got left to do here on the bottom, on the front molding, is to uh, cut the miter yet. And then uh, the side molding here is two pieces, so I can put a, uh, a tongue on the end of this piece and a, a, a groove or mortise in there so that it holds in on the side. And uh, the fact that they're two pieces, like so, so that I can keep it square here and still have the miter. Uh, also, I've got to put a uh, an eighth inch dado here in the side so that it, it hide, the dovetails will only be three quarters of an inch uh, down here. So then the molding here on the side will cover it. i got to put a piece in the back here and that all supports the uh, feet uh, that we're going to make a little later. <laughs> 